over at Sony Studios in Nashville to cut a song I wrote today for a hero of mine, Mr. Chuck Rainey. I heard Chuck was going to be in town and sent him my little demo, and much to my amazement and surprise, he said yes. <laughs> The song we're cutting today is called New Year's Day, and it was inspired by a annual dinner that Victor Wooten has at his place on New Year's Day. And he gathers a bunch of musicians and people in the music business and with the emphasis on bass players. And I got really inspired to write something. And a buddy of mine suggested that I do it as a duet with Chuck. And I thought, Chuck Rainey's not gonna do my song. <laughs> hey Chuck, how you doing? Man? I'm all right, man. I didn't bring the whole session, I just thought it would start off. Won't be any fun. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a little gas. Are you talking somewhere else? Yeah, can you turn that out? Yeah. No kick drum? Eight bars out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little repeating synth part of the back. Do you still have that? This was yes. 11 mixes yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it ain't gonna play itself. <laughs> Let's go beat on it for a while. <laughs> Typically, you, you have a rhythm section. There's four or five guys. And as I began to think about it, I thought, no, I don't, I don't think we need a whole bunch of extra people and strip it down to really what does it need. And then I started thinking about casting. Who do I want to come if it's only gonna be two or three of us that need to be the right, the right people? So when uh, I knew Chuck was in, I rounded up a ace band, some of my best friends, and I think some of the best players in Nashville. Uh, Greg Morrow is gonna play drums on the session, and then Steve Nathan will play keyboards, and that's it. It'll just be those two guys and me and Chuck, two bass players, like God intended. Every time Chuck was doing something, everybody was responding. The room was changing. And that's why I got those guys. I knew that it was gonna go quick, that we wouldn't have a bunch of takes, and that we had to make what we got count. That's awesome, Chuck. Woo! <laughs> Chuck is one of the pillars of modern bass. He's played on Rock Steady by Aretha Franklin and so many of the Steely Dan records and Roberta Flack and Donny Hathaway. And he's created things, sliding double stops, these little runs that he does that almost sound like congas. It's the way he pops. And only Chuck does those things. And the second he did those on the session today, everybody's head snapped around him. It's like, wow, <laughs> heard that before. That's that's, that's the guy. <laughs> he made it up. To have him come and play my song was a special thrill. Everybody did a great job, except me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going to happen with the song, where it'll go, but for me, it was being able to create a piece of history that I did a session with Chuck Rainey. He recorded my song, and he was an amazing person. I'm fulfilled. <laughs> if the song doesn't do one other thing, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs>